This video is sponsored by Skillshare, an online learning community for creators with more than 17,000 classes in design, productivity, photography, and more. A hack is a way to do something not by the book. It's how you do a job without having the right tool or experience. Today we'll be exploring 10 such hacks that relate to mountain biking. Some of these hacks may help you on the trail and some in the shop. Others may be totally useless. With that, let's get started. I've heard it said that master links can be undone by hand, but I don't think this works on today's chains. I use a plier. In an emergency though, you can use part of your shoe. Just undo your shoelace, wrap it around the link once, and pull it with both hands. The link will compress inwards and release the clip. To get it back together, all you need to do is pedal. When transporting your bike without the wheels on, chalking your disc calipers will prevent them from being accidentally compressed. So what do you use if you don't have a chalk? First, get your hands on a popsicle stick. How you do that is your choice. The wider ones work the best and you can cut it in half if you need to. Whatever you do, make sure you clean it off real good. The next time you hit the trails, have all your crap ready in a milk crate. Milk crates are great for your pads, gloves, tools, and filthy mountain bike stuff. You can use them to keep your trunk organized, and of course, they ventilate well. For extra storage, you can drill a hole in the top and add an S-hook for your helmet. I can think of some terrible ways to clean a mountain bike, like the automatic car wash at your local supermarket. This one sucks and it costs $5. Instead, go to the dollar store and buy a toilet brush. Toilet brushes have long bristles which are perfect for getting into your cassette and other tight spaces. With some dish soap and a gentle stream of water, you'll have everything you need to get your rims, drivetrain, and frame looking perfect. Just be sure to label it to avoid cross-contamination. Everyone knows that stickers make your bike faster, kind of like nitro. But applying a sticker carelessly can cause bubbles. Bubbles aren't any fun. So the next time you put a sticker on your bike, helmet, or toolbox, try applying it from the center and working your way out. By doing it this way, there's no opportunity to trap air underneath. A flat and precise sticker will always give you maximum boost. Everyone's familiar with glueless patches, and of course, vulcanizing patch kits which use rubber cement. If you're really committed to not buying new tubes, you can make your own patch kit. Just buy a lifetime supply of rubber cement from the store, and cut patches out of an old inner tube. Identify the hole and sand the surface around it real good. Apply rubber cement to it and let it dry for a few minutes. Sand your patch and apply it by pressing down around it. Your friends will laugh at you, but that's okay because you're recycling. Of course, there's a good chance you're not even messing with inner tubes anymore. Tubeless sealant eliminates tubes and plugs most flats. When a puncture occurs, the sealant splashes into the hole and plugs it. On the sidewall, this doesn't always work reliably, but these handy repair kits do. Just stick one of these bacon strips into the hole and it's perfectly sealed. If you're committed to not buying one of these, you can use a piece of sponge. Just plug the hole with some sponge and a small Allen key. The sponge will absorb the sealant, dry, and stop the leak. <clears throat> it will stop the leak. Okay, so it'll stop the leak eventually. This is a hack 
and it could get you out of a pickle if you don't have the kit. This rubber ring on your stanchion is used to determine sag, but sometimes it breaks off. Many riders use a zip tie in its place, and indeed that works. Still, if you leave the zip tie on and end up bottoming out your suspension, you could be forcing a brittle plastic zip tie into the top of your seal. If you remove the zip tie, you're making a risky cut right next to your stanchion. To avoid this, apply the zip tie inside out. You'll be able to set your sag and pull it right off when you're done. Ever take a sip of warm, rubbery water from your hydration pack? That's because you just drank the water that was sitting in the tube all day. Most people spit out their first sip, but this can waste a lot of water over the course of a ride. Instead, blow into the tube first. This will mix the tube water with the reservoir and give you a fresh sip. While water does keep you hydrated, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich is the perfect fuel for long rides. It's the perfect mix of carbs, sugar, and protein, all in one delicious package. I'd forgive you for thinking there's no better mid-ride snack, but there actually is. Introducing the peanut butter and jelly burrito. Say goodbye to soggy bread. This is best done on a flour tortilla, not corn. You can even put a banana in it for potassium and toast the edges to keep it shut. If you haven't tried this, you're missing out. So there you have it, 10 more bike hacks. I hope you found these useful or at least entertaining. If you want to see more hacks, just check the playlist below. And don't forget to subscribe to Seth's Bike Hacks for new videos every week. Until then, thanks for riding with me today and I'll see you next time. Have you ever wanted to have something manufactured? This class on Skillshare teaches you all the ins and outs. Um, a tech pack is your instruction sheet on how you want your thing to be made. Okay, whether you've got a shirt or a candle or a This is one of the many concise and organized courses you'll find on Skillshare, an online learning community that uses video to teach you just about anything. Once you sign up, you'll have access to classes on game design, business, video editing, and more. I'm watching this tutorial on Final Cut Pro and learning a bunch of things I didn't know before. To try Skillshare for free, click the link below. The first 500 will get two free months, which is enough time to learn a lot of stuff. With Skillshare, you can turn your hobby into a full-time career.